In this video series, we'll be helping you navigate the user interface changes in Invoke 5.0. We'll be reviewing the most common tasks that users complete in Invoke and showing you how to do them in the new Canvas. You can watch our full 5.0 release video to see all the new features, but for this series, we'll be focused on how to complete common tasks with the updated UI. Let's get started. To generate an image and save it directly to the gallery, toggle on the Send to Gallery option next to the Invoke button. After that, set up all your inputs like prompts, prompt templates, settings, and any layers or control layers you want to include in the generation. Then press Invoke and the image will be generated and automatically saved to the gallery. If you want to watch the generation process in real time, click Open Viewer, which you can find in the top right. With the Display Progress Images option turned on, you'll see the generation as it happens. Once complete, the image will appear in the board you've selected on the right-hand side. From there, you can close the viewer, drag the image onto the canvas and continue working on it if needed. The canvas editing workflow has also been streamlined. Previously, editing took place in a separate canvas tab. Now, the canvas and generation tabs are combined into one. To edit on the canvas, simply select the Send to Canvas option next to the Invoke button. This will stage your work in progress in the canvas area of your studio when you hit Invoke. All the settings and layers you've applied will be applied to the Canvas workspace, and you'll see that process happen live. Then you'll be given the option to accept those changes, delete them, and save those changes directly to the gallery. Remember to save your progress. You can save the entire Canvas to your gallery, or if you need just a portion, adjust your bounding box and right-click on the Canvas to clip out a specific section and save that as a separate image. Image to image is now done directly on the canvas. To run an image to image process on an existing image, simply drag the image into the canvas and select Create Raster Layer. You may then need to click the Fit B Box to Layers button in the upper right to adjust your bounding box. Any settings you apply on the left-hand side will transform that existing visible raster layer as part of the image-to-image -image process. To run an image-to-image -image process and save each of those as unique images to the gallery, select the Send to Gallery option next to the Invoke button. To run image-to-image -image process and stage that as a work in progress on the canvas, select the Send to Canvas option. You can save the bounding box to the gallery once you're satisfied with the final output. There are several new ways to add a control layer. If you're working with an existing image, drag it from your gallery or assets folder onto the main canvas workspace and choose New Control Layer. This will automatically generate a control layer using that image. You can then press the Layers tab where you'll see the new layer. Alternatively, you can create a control layer by pressing plus add layer and selecting the control layer option. This will create a blank control layer, which you can define using the available drawing tools, dragging an image on top of, or by pressing the pull B box into layer button, which allows you to create a control layer from what is currently visible in the bounding box of the canvas. You can also press the upload image icon to upload an image directly from your desktop. In the previous version of the canvas, the filter would automatically process and display on the canvas, but now you'll press the filter button to manually apply it. When you press the filter button next to the model in the control layer, it will display a default filter associated with that model. For example, if you're using the Canny model, pressing the filter button will show a Canny edge detection filter applied to your control layer. Once you've applied it, the system will process the control layer and display the transformed image based on your chosen filter. After the filter has been applied, you can continue refining the layer with the drawing tools. This allows you to erase parts of the image, draw in additional line guidance, and make other adjustments to further customize your control layer. 
To add a reference image, sometimes referred to as an IP adapter, drag an image from your gallery or assets folder onto the workspace and select new global reference image. If you want to add a reference image from your desktop, you can click the add layer button, select global reference image and then press the upload icon. Depending on the size of image, you may have to wait a few seconds while the image uploads. The global reference image module functions exactly the same as the previous IP adapter module with options for compositional control, stylistic control and weight or reference strength. In Paint Masks, let you select a region to modify while preserving the rest of your canvas. Results will be blended seamlessly with the surrounding content. Previously, the In Paint Mask was a mode within the brush tool, but now In Paint Masks have their own dedicated layer. To add an In Paint Mask, go to the Layers tab, click the Add Layer button and select In Paint Mask. Then choose the tool you'd like to use from the toolbar, whether it's the brush tool or rectangle tool, to paint in your mask. The area you paint is the part of the image you want to vary when you press Invoke. The model will regenerate pixels specifically within that region. There's now much more flexibility with in-paint masks. You can hide them from view, disable them temporarily, move them around the canvas and even transform them, scaling them larger or smaller as needed. You can also create multiple in-paint masks to edit different areas of the same image. We recommend adjusting the bounding box while in-painting for better pixel control. Outpainting works similarly to the previous canvas with just a few new hotkeys to help manage the bounding box. To start, select the image you want to outpaint, drag it into the canvas and select new raster layer. Then press the C hotkey or click the bounding box button to adjust the bounding box to include the area you want to expand. When your bounding box is set, press the Invoke button. Make sure Send to Canvases mode is selected next to the Invoke button. This will stage everything on the canvas. When you're satisfied with the final image, click the Accept button to merge it into the canvas. Then press Save Canvas to Gallery to save your final image. We've made some updates to our hotkey mapping. To keep things intuitive, we've aligned our hotkeys with industry standard image editing tools. We've also cleaned up the interface by moving some functions from buttons to hotkeys. For example, you can cancel all items in a queue by holding the shift key and pressing the red cancel button. You can always access the hotkey library to search for your favorite hotkeys.